Now, some athletes seem to just to get better with aid. And joining us in the studio is Director of Research at Aspatar Sports Medical Facility, Professor Matthew Wilson. Uh, Matthew, thanks Hello, for joining us. I mean, how does age affect performance of high-level athletes? Well, I think what's important to say is that if we look at the spectrum of the Olympics, we have 10,000 athletes. And of that, we have 28 sports. And within those 28 sports, we have over 300 disciplines. So we have a big spectrum of sports that require fine technical skill, like shooting and archery, through to big endurance sports such as marathon running and triathlon, uh, and as you say, swimming and distance running. So the physicality of those, uh, of those uh, sports require different kinds of athletes. So we have the very, very young athletes, like the gymnasts, for example, who where we know that the, the power to weight ratio to go over a vault, you need to be very small, you need to be very light. So actually, as they progress through their adolescence, they actually are self-selected out where they get too heavy and they're not as flexible as they used to be. Where we take athletes like Joe Pave, as you said, mm. to get to do a 10K and to do marathon, it requires immense dedication and training volume. And when I say training volume, I mean athletes that are capable of running over 100 miles per week. So that's simply not possible if you are an, adol an, an adolescent going mm. through maturation. It's not possible to run that. So the sports require different kinds of physicality, and with that comes the, uh, the age evolution, shall we say. Yeah, I mean, but one thing that is true, that some athletes are, are continuing to compete, and in some cases, improving into their 30s and 40s. That's something that's definitely changed in, in my lifetime. Is it simply a case of that sports science is better now, and they're looking after each other in a better I think, way? I think you've really hit the nail on the head there. So sports science, and the complement of sports science, whether it's strength and conditioning, biomechanics, the technical aspects of it, so the, the guys working with computer simula simulations and nutrition actually are really uh, uh, progressing the longevity of the athlete's career. So yes, I think you're absolutely right. It's the training specificity. We're smarter, they train harder, but actually they're more focused upon the event itself. Professor Matthew Wilson, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.